Hello everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. Today we will be discussing addition and subtraction of radical expressions. Adding and subtracting radical expressions is just like adding polynomials. So, two or more radicals can be uh, can only be added to a single radical if the radical if the radical parts are similar. That is, the index and the radicand are similar or the same. So let us recall our parts of radical. This is our index, or the square root, or the cube root, the number here. And inside our radical sign, that is what we call the radicand. And this is our radical sign. Example, let us evaluate if the following expressions are similar or dissimilar. In this case, our index is 2, that is understood. Index is 2. Our radical is 2 and 2. That means these expressions are similar. Similar. Next, that means if they are similar, we can add them. So if we're going to add this, we know that there is one here. So one plus three, which is four is square root of two. How about in this case, square root of three plus cube root of three. Looking at our index, there are different index. So these are dissimilar. So that means we cannot add them. So if we're going to add that, the answer is square root of 3 plus cube root of 3. Okay, to better understand, let's have this example. Simplify. Again, we can only add or subtract if they have the same index and the same radicand. So let us check. 2 is square root of 3 plus 4 is square root of 3. So we have the same index and the same radicand. So we can add them. 2 plus 4, that is 6. Now just copy the index and radicand. The square root of 3. And this will be our final answer. 6 is square root of 3. Next. 6 is square root of x minus square root of x plus 5 cube root of x. Notice that 5 cube root of x has an index of 3. So in this case, we can only add 6 square root of x minus square root of x. So 6 minus 1, that will give us 5. 6 minus 1 here, that is 5. Then just copy square root of x. What will happen to 5 cube root of x? So we're just called, going to copy that. 5 cube root of x. And this will be our final answer. We cannot combine them because we have index of 2 here. And our index here is 3. So just copy. In number 3, Square root of 16 plus square root of 25 minus square root of 81. Notice that we have the same index. Our radicand. They are dissimilar or different. But studying our radicand, those numbers are perfect square numbers. So we can simplify them. Square root of 16, that is 4, plus square root of 25, that is 5, minus square root of 81, that is 9. So 4 plus 5, minus 9, that is equal to 0. Next, 3 is square root of 12, minus 2 is square root of 3. Check the index. We have 2 and 2. 
radical 12 and 3. Our radical is different to each other. But we can factor out 12. So we can write that as 3 square root of factors of 12 are 4 times 3 minus 2 square root of 3. To get the factor, one factor must be a perfect square. Just like this one. 4 is a perfect square. So 3 square root of 4, that will give us 2. Then just copy square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 3. Now we can multiply 3 times 2, that is 6, copy square root of 3, minus copy 2 square root of 3. Check the index and the radical. So our index is 2 and the radical is 3. That means we can subtract 6 minus 2, 4, copy square root of 3. So this is our final answer. So that is our rule in adding and subtracting radical expressions. Now your turn. I want you to answer numbers 1, 2, and 3. If you want to try numbers 1, 2, and 3, pause the video. Then after answering, resume watching to check your answers. Number 1. Check the index. So 2 and 2. Radical, but 18 has a factor of 9 times 2. So we can rewrite this as I erase this. Copy 3 square root of 2 plus I can write 18 as 9 times 2. 9 times 2. That is 18. Why 9? Because 9 is a perfect square number. So copy 3 square root of 2. Plus, square root of 9, that is 3, copy square root of 2. 3 plus 3, we can now combine, that is 6, and copy square root of 2. Okay, that will be our answer. In number 2, square root of 48a squared b, plus a square root of 3b minus 27a squared b. In our first term, a squared is a perfect square number. So, we can get its square root, square root of a squared, that is a square root of 48 then copy b plus a square root of 3b minus a squared here. So that will become a square root of 27b. Now our coefficient or our radicand 48 and 27. Find a factor that the one factor must be a perfect square. So a square root of, of 48. That is 16 times 3. So copy B plus A square root of 3B minus A. 27 factors of 27, 9 times 3. Square root of 9 times 3, then copy B. Now we have square root of 16. That will give us 4A square root of 3B plus a square root of 3b minus square root of 9, that is 3b square root of 3b. Oh, this is 3a. Okay. Check the index and of course the radical. So we have similar terms. Combine like terms. 4a plus a, that is 5a minus 3a. That is 2a, then just copy square root of 3b. That will be our final answer. 2a square root of b. And for number 3, 
factors of 98. So that is 49 times 2 minus square root of factors of 18, 9 times 2, plus 2 square root of factors of 1 to 8, 64 times 2, plus factors of 32, 16 times 2. So there is a technique actually. So perfect square numbers. So 7 square root of 2 minus square root of 9, 3 square root of 2 plus 2 times square root of 64 is 8, copy square root of 2 plus square root of 16, 4 square root of 2. 7 minus 2, that is 4, plus 2 times 8 is 16, so 16 plus 4, 20, plus 4, so 24 is square root of 2. This will be the final answer. Now try to answer your exercises in your module. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo.